Okay, guys, I'm going to show you how you can use phone sites on Facebook. Uh, for new subscribers, there's some confusion about how to get your, your funnel, your landing page onto Facebook. I think some people think that maybe it's some sort of like software or file or something like that that you need to upload into Facebook. And that's not the case. All you're really doing is you're creating a post, whether it's from your personal page, business page, your fan page, uh, and you're creating that post and you're using a link to your landing page. Um, because the objective is is to share that link in some sort of a engaging post that is going to cause someone to uh, someone in your target audience to uh, check out your post and then want to click on the link to lead them off of Facebook and onto your landing page. Well, then they will submit their contact information. So let's just find the funnel that I want to trade. Uh, share here really quickly. So this funnel right here, notice all of these funnels, there's um, there's a link that's displayed here. So you got your subdomain and then phonesites.com. And you got like this little icon here that looks like a uh, kind of like a paperclip, right? But it's it's a link. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and click into that. When you, whenever you click on that link there, it copies it. See, it says copied. And then now you can go over to Facebook and you can begin to create your post. So all you do is you paste that in here now, there is a quick formatting step that you must uh, add in in order for this to be uh, formatted properly for your post. I'm gonna show you what happens though if you don't do the formatting step. So if I just simply copy in that post there, notice that the post doesn't change. It doesn't pull in like a picture or anything like that. If I select post and I'm only posting um, on my wall, no one else can see this just because this is a demo. So if I post this, all that I'm gonna see is um, a very basic post that just has the link. And if I actually made this uh, available for others to see, then they would see it in their newsfeed and probably um, think that I made a mistake. So, which I made a mistake here on purpose just to show you. But let's go ahead and delete this and I'll show you how you actually need to format this. All right, so this time what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna paste that in there and then I'm gonna go and put my cursor in front of the the URL and put in HTTPS. And then I'm gonna put my cursor at the end and then I can just hit like space or enter or something like that. And uh, what I would expect to see is, oh, you know what? I gotta refresh my page before I do this. Let's refresh the page. Let's try that again. Cause when I hit space, it didn't start fetching the data. Okay, all right, so that's what I mean by fetching the data. Notice that that time, as soon as I hit that space, it pulled in this image, it pulled in um, the title for this uh, particular funnel. And then if we had a description added as well, you'd see um, not in bold, but regular font uh, just beneath this uh, a description. And by description and title, let me just show you what I mean really quickly here. Let's click into this funnel. And where's the... First page for this one. There we go. So I'm going to go into settings. And okay, so we do have a description in there. And we've got a title in there too. Um, and then this is, of course, the, the social image. So any of this that you see under title, description, and image under settings, that's what you'd expect to see right in um, this box, like right here. Uh, I think because the, the, the title of the page is so long, that's why it's not showing the description down here. Um, now, once you've pulled in your uh, metadata, your social data, the stuff that you see listed here under meta tag title, meta tag description, meta tag image, once you've got that pulled in, you no longer need this link, so you can delete that. And then this is where you could put in uh, uh, your, your, like your enticing copy that you need to have in the post to try to get someone to click through this ad. This is not enough, you need to have some copy added in up here. So you could be like, uh, getting stuck with your uh, Facebook pixel, pixel. So um, it's not exactly all that enticing, I guess, but um, just to give you an example, this is what it would look like. And then let's go ahead and say that we want to post this. 
And so this is what someone would see in their newsfeed. And if this really um, intrigued them, then they would click through this and it's going to bring them to the landing page where they could check out your offer and so forth. Obviously there's no offer here. This is just providing you guys uh, tutorials and so forth. But anyways, they would check out your offer and if they were interested, then they would fill out whatever contact form that you had towards the bottom of your landing page.